What's up, guys? I've got a little something to open up here. It's a Red Cat Gen 8 V2 Scout. One tenth scale crawler. And I've got it in the lime green. So let's open this bad boy up and see what it looks like. I've already taken off the tape around the sides. And I'm just going to open the box and I'll show you what's inside. So it comes nicely wrapped. Put that out of the way. So here's the lime green. Right there you can see the controller. I'll pull this out of the box here. It's so got that out of the way. And here we've got the owner's manual, body posts, light clips, some extra screws. Put that off the side. ton of different decals. I've actually ordered in a separate little plate. Hopefully it gets here soon. Get this all off to the side. And we'll start looking at this bad boy. It looks awesome, feels really nice. I'm gonna pull it out of the plastic and I know on the underside here, Got a couple zip ties, so I'll get those off right now. We got the remote here. Looks like your standard remote. A couple different options up here so I can get it open. Adjust your steering, throttle, reverse steering. Looks pretty straightforward. Nice rubber. Yeah. Should be good for my first crawler. Always something you can upgrade down the road. Adjustable mirrors, which is kind of cool. Would have been nice to see, other than just a decal there, a uh, actual printed door handle and gas cap. But I know those are things you can add on after the fact. Let me get it out of the package here, one sec. So I'm not sure if I already said this, but this is my first uh, hobby grade crawler or RC. So I'm probably gonna say a lot of different things wrong and not know exactly what I'm talking about, but uh, leave a comment below and correct me where I uh, need correcting. So nice clear windows there. Suspension's awesome on this little thing. mirror here as well one really nice thing that uh, when I was looking for which one to go with it already had the light buckets on the front and rear as well as the bumpers already are drilled out so you can put the uh, red cat light kit in there So I heard a trick online that if you grab the front here and just pull up, it comes off a lot easier. Now I did loosen the body a bit uh, before, but it definitely made it easier to uh, to pull up there originally. So you can see the Velcro's actually coming off a little bit. I think I'll change those to magnets uh, at some point here. We've got the front bumper again, already slotted for lights in there. 25 kg servo, a 550 brushed motor on off here now i've heard mixed reviews on how waterproof quote unquote uh the receiver here is nice low center of gravity for the battery tray so it keeps everything centered and mounting posts for 
a separate body for the pro line ones work really well as you can see with the rear bumper as well as the front uh, it does have some adjustability i think you'll run into issues with the front uh, just bumping into the servo here so you might have to trim that back a bit but all in all looks good classic sliders these can definitely get upgraded down the road flipping it over they've smoothed out the skid plate here from the original everything looks metal under here i know these are plastic but again little upgrades Say hi to Rocky. I'm sure he's gonna love this thing running around terrorizing him, or he's gonna terrorize it. But uh, everything looks good so far, and once I get the battery charged up, I'll take it for a rip, and that'll be for another video. All right, wrap this up here. Thanks again. Checking out the Gen 8 version 2 of the Scout 2 by Red Cat. Take care and uh, Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We're going to be doing some cool stuff with this rig, and I know a lot of other people are as well. So I'm sure I'll be uh, borrowing some ideas from them. Cheers, guys.